Hey guys, I'm um, having trouble with my zoanthids. Um, There's one of the things I'm having trouble with. And um, they're not opening. Some of them have this kind of gray haze around them, almost like a skin, and you can blow it off. So I was reading, and I found out it's probably a fungus. And between being on live streams, talking to different people, I found out that this Furon 2 may be able to help. So, what they say is take about two cups of aquarium water, take one packet of this API Furon 2, and mix it up. So, I'm going to dump that right in there. And so far, it looks like tang or something. Some kind of toxic green Kool Aid. Put that in here. Stir it up. Now I'm using water from my tank. I have the zoanthids in here. We're going to dip them into here for about five minutes. And then I'll rinse them off in here. This is also clean tank water. And I don't really want my finger to glow in the dark, so I'm going to use these. And I will take them somewhere on frag plugs like this. So I'll put them in there. Uh, look at the clock. Give me an idea how long. This beautiful large colony. That has really gone downhill. I don't know if you guys follow my channel, you'll see the beautiful zoanthid rock I had a few weeks ago with all these different colors of zoanthid. I mean, no, no real designer ones, but still, I like them. They were, they were pretty. And they just stopped opening. So, let's get them all in here. And we'll start five minutes there. Since this is still the same water as that. Pour that right in there so I have a little more rinse water. And let's see. I'll take this, baste it around a little bit. Try and move it between all the polyps. I'm seeing a lot of dirt and debris. And some of these smaller pieces I may glue, glue, glue back onto frag plugs. Just because you don't just dip it once. It's kind of a four-day process. You know, one of the zoanthids just totally let go. It looked dead, though. Let go from one of the plugs. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff coming off of here. So this Furon 2 is, uh, it does a bunch of other fish diseases. It says it's for salt or fresh water. But, um, it does open red sores, gill diseases body slime, eye cloud. It's more of a fish antifungal or antibacterial. So, uh, but, you know, just like uh, the fluconazole is doing for the bryopsis, repurposing some things in the hobby is uh, bringing great results. So I'm hoping that this gets the job done. We'll pause it for a few minutes. We'll come back at the end of five minutes. Okay. Five minutes is up. Let's get everybody into the fresh water dip here.
giving them a last final shake before I put them into the fresh water dip. This one I'm going to re-glue onto a frag plug so I can just manage it a little better for the next few days with the dipping. But that's all there is to it, really. Let's hope this gives me some good results. And there's a couple on here that don't look so good. I might just cut them off. You know, I don't want to weaken my results by trying to save one or two heads. Some of them aren't looking very well. I'll figure that out. So, you get 10 packets of the stuff, so there's no point in trying to save it. It's only $8. Uh, you can redo the treatment on, you know, I'm going to use four out of the 10 packets. So I'll be able to treat it again, you know, and just hold on to it. And my favorite... Two for a dollar at the dollar store glue. Let's see. Glue right there. Get this one little one out. So it's going to be hard to manage that guy. This one I'm not even sure is worth anything, but hey, there's two heads on there. We'll give it a shot. I'll spend two cents worth of glue. See if I can glue a frag plug to a frag plug. Everybody else has a plug. So this should work out well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably just give you an update in next week's uh, tank update. Rather than just making a, another video or trying to splice these together. So thanks for watching. And... Uh, I'll keep you posted on how good this stuff works. Hopefully it's a charm. Bye.